The definite integral, the square root of x to the third plus 1 from 0 to 2 dx, is very difficult to evaluate exactly. In fact, it simply cannot be done using basic integration rules. In this problem, we're asked to give an approximate value for it using the trapezoidal rule with n equals 4. The trapezoidal rule is based on finding the area of trapezoids to approximate the area between the curve and the x-axis. And when I say the curve, I mean the graph of f of x equals the square root of x to the third plus 1, which looks like this. Now in this problem, we're integrating from x equals 0 to x equals 2. So the exact value of this definite integral would be the exact area between the curve and the x-axis from x equals 0 to x equals 2. We're looking for this area exactly. And again, finding that exact value is very difficult. But by finding the area of trapezoids that represent the shaded region, you can get a pretty good approximation. Here I'm being asked to use n equals 4, and that means you're going to be using the area of four trapezoids. And if you take a look at the way that four trapezoids would fit over this curve, there's one trapezoid two trapezoids. You can see based on the shape of a trapezoid, it does a pretty good job of approximating the area between that curve and the x-axis. In fact, if you don't look very close, it looks like the area is almost exact. It's not exact. There's going to be gaps between the top of the trapezoid and the actual curve. But because trapezoids provide a, a fairly good representation of what a normal curve looks like, the trapezoidal rule provides a good approximation for definite integrals. The trapezoidal rule states that the definite integral from a to b of any f of x dx is approximately equal to, it's not exact, it's an approximation, it's approximately equal to b minus a over 2n, n is the number of trapezoids that you're going to use for the approximation, the more trapezoids you use, the larger the value of n is, the more accurate the approximation will be, but then also the more work it will be to get to that approximation. And then this fraction is being multiplied by a variable number of terms. The number of terms in the trapezoidal rule depends on the number of trapezoids that you use. The number of terms in the brackets will always be one more than the value of n. The way that it is stated here is f of x plus 0 plus 2 times f of x sub 1 plus 2 times f of x sub 2. And what you'll find is the coefficient on each term except for the first and last is a 2. The first and last term will have a coefficient of 1. I have another video that goes into more detail of how the trapezoidal rule is derived. And if you check out the description of this video, you can find a link to that. But in this video, we'll simply apply the trapezoidal rule to evaluate or to approximate the integral from 0 to 2 of the square root of x to the third plus 1 dx. Now remember, in this problem, the directions asked us to let n equal 4. And the first thing I have to consider when using the trapezoidal rule is that the distance from a to b, the distance from 0 to 2, is 2 minus 0, or 2 units. And what I'm going to do, because n equals 4, because I'm going to use four trapezoids to approximate this integral, I need to know the width of each trapezoid. And the width of each trapezoid would come from dividing those two units it is from 0 to 2 into n equals 4 equal trapezoids. Two units divided by four trapezoids is, of course, equal to 0.5. And that's the width of each trapezoid. 0.5 is the width of each trapezoid. And that's important when I set up this formula because I'm starting at the value of a, which is 0, but then because the width of each trapezoid is 0.5, if you look at each successive term, it's going to be a half of a, that x value will be a half of a unit more than the previous one. So I'm going from 0 to 0 0.5 to 1 to 1 1.5, and then I'll end at the value of b, which is 2. If we kind of look back at the beginning of this expression, b minus a over 2n is what the trapezoid rule starts with. b minus a in this case would be 2 minus 0 over 2 times 4, n equals 4. And then again, since we're using four trapezoids, there's going to be five terms in the bracket. 
the first and the last term will have a coefficient of 1, and all of the middle terms will have coefficients of 2. Once you have this expression written down, the rest of the problem is just doing the arithmetic to get to the approximation. That arithmetic could begin by simplifying the fraction 2 minus 0 over 2 times 4 is, is of course, 2 eighths. And then I'm evaluating f of 0, and that basically just means putting a 0 for x. f of x would be the square root of x to the third plus 1, if you want to think of it as a function. 0 to the third power plus 1 is would be the square root of 1. The second term is going to be 2 times f of 0 0.5. 0 0.5 to the third power plus 1 is 1.125, which we'll have to take the square root of in the next step. And the majority of these square roots are going to be irrational. Uh, plus 2 times f of 1. 1 to the third plus 1 is, the, is 2. Plus the fourth term is 2 times f of 1.5 f of 1.5 is the square root of 4.375, and finally f of 2, 2 to the third power plus 1 is the square root of 9. You can see that the first and the last term are going to be rational numbers, but the three terms in the middle are going to be irrational. Depending on the context of the problem or how precise you need to be, you could leave your answer in radical form or approximate it. In this problem, I'm going to approximate it to three decimal places. 2 eighths simplifies to 1 fourth. The square root of 1 is exactly 1. The square root of 9 is exactly 3. I have approximated each of the three middle terms temporarily to four decimal places. 2 times the square root of 1.125 is 2.1213, and these are all approximations for the three middle terms. Those are not exact values. They're rounded off to four decimal places. Summing the five numbers in the brackets gives me 13.133, but we can't forget to multiply that by the one-fourth. That comes from the formula. It's at the beginning. One-fourth times 13.133 is equal to approximately 3.283, or if you needed this value to five decimal places, 3.28325. This is an approximation of the integral of the square root of x to the third plus one from zero to two dx. This is not the exact value. It's not even the exact value to five decimal places. It's approximating this definite integral by taking the area of four trapezoids.